blessed day everyone! Today is another day to learn new and interesting things about our subject. I am your teacher in technical drafting and I'm very excited to join you in your journey towards learning. The topic for today is about the drafting tools, materials, and equipment. For today's discussion, we aim to do the following. First, is to identify the list of hand tools, materials, and equipment. And lastly, identify the use of hand tools, materials, and equipment. Drafting tools are those which a draftsman used to manipulate the drawing. Now, these are the drafting equipment. The drawing table and stool. This is a special table with an adjustable top so that it can be tilted to a desired angle. It is higher than an ordinary writing table. The drawing board. It is a kind of multi-purpose desk which can be used for any kind of drawing. These are the drafting materials. The drawing paper. This is prepared sheet for drawing paper. One of the kind of drawing paper used by a draftsman is the tracing paper. A thin transparent paper which ink or pencil drawing is made for reproduction in blueprint and white print. The tapes, used to fasten paper onto drawing board. Let's now proceed to the common tools and instruments used by a draftsman. The pencil, instrument used for drawing and writing. One of the type of pencil used by a draftsman is the mechanical pencil. A type of drawing pencil does not require sharpening. This comes in a case and with replaceable lead. The technical pen. It is used to finalize pencil works. The eraser. Eraser is used to correct errors or to remove light layouts. The protractor. Used for measuring angles from 0 to 360 degrees. The compass. It is used for drawing arcs and circles. The compass has five parts. The handle, the yoke, the legs, the needle, and the pencil holder. Triangles. Triangles are used for making inclined lines at an angle and drawing vertical lines. These come in two general types. The 45 by 45 degrees for making oblique drawings and 30 by 30 degrees for making isometric drawing. But how to use the triangles? Illustration on how to use properly of drawing lines and measuring angles using triangle and t-square as a guide. As you can see the horizontal lines with 0 degree, you will going to put here or place here the t-square. And now, you will going to use the two types of triangle, which the first type is the 45 by 45 degrees, and the other is 30 by 60 degrees. You can make now the 15 degrees. And as you proceed now to the 75 degrees using the two triangles, and also the 90 degrees using the right angle. The T-square. Used for establishing a horizontal reference on the drawing board. As you can see on the right picture, this is the drawing board. And the touch of this is the T-square. The T-square or the head of the T-square. As you can see, the blade of the T-square is passing through the drawing area. And this is the T-square part. French curve used to draw irregular curves. The templates. These are composed of repetition of shape and the holes that use as time saver for easy and accurate drawings 
of a specific shape needed. As you can see, there are different holes using these templates. You can use the thickness of the wall for architectural drafting. And as you can see, the circle from smallest to biggest size. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's session. See you next time!